Welcome to Reality 33 TV. In this video, I want to discuss the singer Jesse J. Born Jessica Ellen Cornish, Jessie J hails from Essex, London, where she attended the Performing Arts School and was in several productions there. In 2003, at age 15, she won Best Pop Singer in the TV show Britain's Brilliant Prodigies. At age 17, she joined a girl group called Soul Deep. And in 2006, she graduated from the Brit School for Performing Arts alongside singers Adele and Leona Lewis. Jessie went on to sign a deal with Gut Records, however, the label went bankrupt and her material was never released. She gained success as a songwriter which led to her signing a Sony ATV publishing contract. She wrote for artists including Chris Brown and Miley Cyrus. She also toured with Cyndi Lauper, who brought her out to sing during Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Jessie left her girl group Soul Deep after two years, feeling that the group was not going anywhere. She began putting her music on YouTube and MySpace, where she was discovered by an executive who signed her to Lava Records in a joint deal with Universal Republic. Jessie struggled on a three-month trip in Los Angeles, going from producer to producer, and wanted to give up on music completely before writing the song, Who You Are, which is about staying true to yourself. Jessie released the song, which reached the top 10 on the UK charts, and Jessie told British tabloid The Sun the following, This song saved my life musically. The day before I wrote this song, I was ready to give up on music. It's amazing how three and a half minutes of melody and lyrics can change your life, and I'm so happy that not only has it saved my life, but it's saving other people's. That's why my debut album is called Who You Are. Who You Are debuted at number two on the UK Albums Chart and number 11 on the US Billboard 200. The lead single in the United States, Price Tag, featuring B.O.B., peaked at number 23 on the Billboard Hot 100. Additionally, the song charted at number one in 19 countries, becoming Jesse J's biggest hit to date and the most successful online video the singer has released. That same year, her first American television appearance was as the musical guest on NBC's Saturday Night Live. Jessie was slated to perform at several festivals that summer, but due to a broken foot, was forced to cancel. She re-released Who You Are with an additional track, Domino, which topped the UK charts and became her first top 10 hit in the United States following the success of Price Tag. With featured artist David Guetta, Jessie J released the sixth single, Laser Light, from her debut album in the United Kingdom. The song debuted at number 26 on the UK Singles Chart. The following week, the song climbed 21 positions to number 5, making it her sixth top 10 single from one album. With the charting success, she became the first UK female solo artist to achieve six top 10 singles from a single studio album. Jessie released her second album, Alive, in the UK in 2013, and it was met with mixed reception by critics. Her first single, Wild, reached number five on the UK charts. Jessie announced that the American version of the album would be pushed back because her American label didn't feel the album would work on their territory. She planned to record new material for it, which was rumored to be produced by Pharrell Williams. However, this idea was later scrapped for unknown reasons and she began to work on a brand new album, 2014's Sweet Talker, which was released worldwide. It debuted at number five on the UK charts. Her first single, Bang Bang, featuring Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj, reached number one on the UK singles charts and number six on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. In 2017, Jessie released a song titled Real Deal as a part of an Eminem's candy campaign. Jessie admitted that after her third album, she began to have difficulty with writing and creating new music. In an interview with Billboard, she stated, I wasn't enjoying the music I was making as much as I should. I wasn't writing because I didn't want to make music that escaped me from that. I wanted to make music that put me in the feeling. But to do that, I had to be really strong, to know that I wasn't going to be able to be pushed and fall over. That's why it took me a long time. I don't feel that I've ever learned so much about myself at any other time in my life. 
After some time of working with producer DJ Camper, Jessie J became inspired to write again and released her third album after four years. Titled R.O.S.E. or Rose in 2018, and it was broken up in four EPs, with each one making up the acronym for Rose. The album was more geared towards an R&B sound than her previous albums, which had more of a pop sound. Jessie toured and performed the album throughout 2018. In 2020, in an Instagram post, Jessie revealed that she had been diagnosed with Meniere's disease. The disorder affects the inner ear and can lead to severe dizziness, ringing in the ear, and hearing loss. During a podcast interview in May 2022, Jessie J revealed that her sixth album was recorded, but she had decided to scrap it entirely after deciding that it did not feel right. In the same interview, she also revealed that she had parted ways with her sixth manager, sensing that she needed a new internal team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more.